Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Trash Friends. So this is the second part of the video where I am going to explain you all your doubts, all your comments that you have been comment in the comment section of the first video. So you have commented many, many, many comments where today I am going to explain all all your doubts about this particular topic, which is how you can do the renders in Google Colab Pro. So watch the video till the end so that you will get full detail about this so basically in this particular video in today's video i'm only going to cover the topic of the new blender version which is the blender 2.93 version and the third part i'm going to explain you that how you can create your simulations like water simulation wind fire gas etc all your simulation i am going to explain you in the third part so this will be the second part of the video where i am going to explain you that the newest blender version which is 2.93 how you can connect to your google colab pro and how you can install into google colab pro so watch the video till the end so that you will get full knowledge how you can easily copy all the codes and you can enjoy your render so like many of you i commented me free abrams tank has commented like how can you render fire animation with google colab i try several times but all that i can render is the first frame with fire the rest does not show fire at all so i am going to explain you in the third part where i am i have done the rendering or fire renders so i will explain you in that third part so uh, do subscribe to this youtube channel so that you will get <coughs> all the notifications that whenever i upload the video and the next comment is that so you can see all the comments that many of you have uh, told me that here so here kazi Dranzer has told that how you can render the video into google colab pro so today in this video i am also going to explain that from start to end i am going to explain that how you can render the videos into google colab pro so watch the video till then you can see all the comments here so thank you for commenting and thank you for supporting so so let's start the video website for your rendering purposes like to create video renders from image sequences or say you can create your own animation movies with the help of google colab pro so watch the video till the end as well as i have provided all the codes in the description box so i think that you will go to the description box and will copy all these codes so it's free for all of you so watch the video till the end and if you like the video do press the like button as well as don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel travels when so that whenever i upload new videos you will get that videos also as well as don't forget to press the bell icon so that whenever I upload the video you will get the notification as well so let's start the video so first of all what you have to do is you have to go to google and type google colab so uh, you can see the video screen that what process i am doing same process you also have to do it so now what you have to do you have to create first go to the google colab and then you have to create new notebook follow the process that i am doing so now you have to create first of all you have to create your google account like gmail account and drive account then you have to create the new notebook once you have created both this then you have to do the following step the steps are like you have to first click on the runtime I am using Google Colab Pro. Then you have to click on the runtime and change the runtime to the GPU rendering. If you are using the Pro version, then you will get one new facility like runtime shape, which is when uh, which you have to keep as high runtime. Then you have to copy some codes. I have provided all the codes in the description box. You can copy it. Then now I am going to explain you each and every codes and what is the code and what is the purpose of that code so that you can perform your renders the first code is like nvidia slash smi you have to copy the code then you have to press on the plus code 
uh, icon and then you have to copy the second code which is the main code through which you can install your blender to google colab link or website then you have to just copy the code i have provided the code in the description box and the you can see that here you can use different blender versions like 2.93 2.90 and the older versions as well as then the third code that you have to copy is the drive code so just copy the code and paste to the new code line and the fourth code that you have to copy is also the drive import code so that you uh, whatever blender file you have been imported into your drive you can easily access to your google colab the fifth code is the so now i'm going to explain you the fifth and sixth code which is the most important code for render purpose so the fifth code is basically for uh, rendering the single frame and the sixth code is basically for rendering the video frames like from one frame to 100 frame or one frame to thousand frame so now i'm going to explain you that about both two codes what for what purpose the first code is and for what purpose the sixth code is means fifth and sixth code so the fifth code which is like you can see the last is f1 so basically what f1 means that if you want to render the single frame for that single frame you can also you you have to use the fifth code and if you want to render the multiple frames then you have to use the sixth code now let's also change the runtime to gpu render if you are not yet done it and to high ram if you are using google colab pro version so i am using google colab pro version which is around 11 dollar per month which is affordable price to all of you then just you have to do the connect connection so now you can see that it is connecting and once it is initialized then you can perform your renders as well as you can play your particular codes so now let's play the particular codes and i will explain you that for what purpose that particular code is so the first code which is nvidia smi the basically the first code is uh, to show the pc specs that google co sorry that google colab pro is using so for you will get different zips uh, you will get different gpus depending upon the time zone so for now for this particular time zone time zone i am getting the tesla p100 you can get tesla v100 also so it's depending upon the time zone and the time through which you are rendering so now i am getting this particular uh, specs pc so you can see that I am getting Tesla P100 with 250 watt and 28 watt something uh, GPU performance. So now the second code which is the most important code which I have already told that this is the Blender version code through which you can render the Blender files as well as install it. So you can see that. Uh, here there are different types of blender version like blender 2.93 blender 2.90 and the older version also just you have to click on the play button so that it will install the particular blender file version so let's keep it uh, let's fast forward the video so that you will not wait to install this particular blender file so once it has been installed like you can see that it has been installing till 100% so now so once it has been installed to 100% what you have to do I will explain you now so once it has been installed now what you have to do is that you have to first of all collect that blender file so you can see that you have to collect that blender file like uh, here I am going to uh, going to um, drag that blender file you have to drag both the blender file into your google drive through which you are using google colab pro you have to only drag uh, or upload that particular blender file into that gmail account through which you are going to log into your google colab pro account that google drive can be easily linked to google colab pro 
so you can see that i have been uh, uploaded that two particular files which is hand dot blend and hand dot blend one and the opposite to hand is hand dot blend where you will get all your hdri textures as well as your material uh, files in built so now once you have uploaded your hand dot blend file what you have to do i am going to explain you that how you can easily uh, import your hdri files to it so basically what you have to do is that you have to open your blender file first you have to open that particular file like hand i am opening that particular file and i am going to explain you that how you have to collect all that hdri files textures materials etc to your google collab file so basically what you have to do is that you have to click on the file option at the top left corner of your screen then you have to click on the external data then you have to once you have clicked on the external data then you have to click on automatically pack into dot blend once you have clicked that then all your hdri materials and all your textures will be easily packed into that blend uh, into that hand dot blend one file so it to then once you have packed all the files as well as you have saved all the files then just upload that file into the google drive particular google drive that you are using for google collab pro and after that you have to follow the steps that i am going to explain you now here you can see the third code which is for google collab and google drive import then just click on the play button then it will run that particular code and then you can see that here some url is also then you can see that here url is also present then just click on that particular url and then just uh, log into your particular google account and just press allow and just copy that this uh, code which you can see here just copy it it will always change and it will it is like your otp so just copy it and copy to that authorization code and once you have copy and once you have paste it just just press enter and it will detect your particular google drive and once it is been detected then you can see that here uh, one comment is been written that mounted at g drive which is the google drive the fourth code which is also the google drive so that it will again do the security check like you have been linked your google drive to google collab pro or not so just play that play button and here you can see that it is also saying that mounted at content drive so now the most important code which are the fifth code and sixth code which is the most important code through which you can render your single frame as well as your multiple frames like video image sequences so now i am going to explain you the fifth frame which is the most important frame for single frame rendering i am you can see that i am writing some comments here so that you can easily read it like for single frame render you can use this particular code so i am fast forwarding it uh, and the six code is for multiple frame so here i am going to explain you that if you are using the frame like 1 to 99 frames then you can you have to use three hashtags and if you are using like 1 to 1000 frame then you have to use four hashtags and this is the only thing that you have to do still now so now i am going to explain you that how you have you can do the rendering how you can set your uh, set your render file names as well as how you can perform your video renders so here what you can do once you have been uploaded your particular drive like i have uploaded my blender file in with the help blender file which has the name hand if your blender file has the name car or something like bike then you have to change here the name like here i am using hand name so i am typing here hand dot blend so in this particular you have to type 
कार डॉट ब्लेंड और बाइक डॉट ब्लेंड और इंटीरियर डॉट ब्लेंड डिपेंडिंग अपॉन योर ब्लेंडर फाइल दाउ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट इज दैट एट इज दैट वॉट शुड बी द रेंडर नेम सो दैट वंस द रेंडर हैज बीन कम्प्लीटेड द गूगल ड्राइव विल कलेक्ट ऑल द फाइल्स uh including that particular name so like here i have used sci-fi bike <coughs> so once the render is completed then the folder will rename to sci-fi bike dot png to particular render frame name and dot png so this is the single frame and at the top you can see the multiple frames from 1 to 130 so i have uh, render this frame with the sixth code so for uh, fifth code you have just to press the play button and it will render that particular single frame you can see the render so in this part, in this manner you can render with the help of google colab pro and now i'm going to explain you that how you can uh, render mul multiple frames so to render the multiple frames you have to uh, press uh, you have to press the play button or first you have to rename everything like i have explained you at the top like if your blender name is hand then you have to type your blender name and then as as i have explained you that depending upon your uh, depending upon your uh, frame image sequences like 1 to 100 you have to type three hashtag or 1 to 1000 you have to type four hashtag so here i am using uh, the image sequence from 1 to 130 frames so i am using three hashtag or you can use four hashtag uh, just the name will change like here i have used four hashtag so at the front you will get zero if i use three hashtag then it will be hand slash 130 or hand slash 121 so you can use that also so once you once all the render is completed uh, then google drive will collect all that uh, render files and you can see uh, that render files has been uploaded to your google drive from google colab pro then just you have to select that particular render files like i am selecting from 1 to 130 frames and just you have to click on the three buttons at the right top and then you have to just download it so if you, so once you have clicked on download button it will automatically zip all the files from 1 to 130 from 130 files and then you can easily save your file to your particular uh, computer or say particular disk and after that you can easily use premiere pro or any other video editing software and can easily do your video editing for so you can easily do your video editing jobs and create your own animation video so if you like the video don't forget to press the like button so this was the only thing that all of you have told me to please create the videos for uh, so that we can uh, so that we can uh, render with the help of new blender version which is blender 2.9 so if you like the video please press the like button do subscribe to this youtube channel as well as press the bell icon so that whenever i upload the video you will get the notification so thank you for watching the video till the end bye bye friends